Doctors say one-year-olds can drink toddler milk formula in a pinch, but pediatricians have other recommendations for younger infants. News Channel's Tracy Lair has our report. When this little one didn't latch on, his mother turned to formula. But lately, she's noticed a shortage in the stores where she shops. It is a problem because the babies really need it. There's a lot of babies that their mothers cannot provide them with the breast milk, and it's necessary to provide them with the formulas. I'm going to speak to the moms who, are, who, who cannot breastfeed. Um, if you can, that's wonderful. But we, we know for many reasons that, that uh, so many moms cannot breastfeed. So I just want to show, um, I just want to send like love and support to you guys. So, um, so please, please reach out to your pediatrician. Parents are welcome to visit neighborhood clinics. Just yesterday, I had a mom with um, yeah, like a, a two-month-old. Um, couldn't, couldn't breastfeed. So, but anyway, I have been getting questions. Yes, it, this uh, formula shortage is definitely a crisis um, for our country. Even if Abbott reopens its plant and Nestle's imports formula from overseas, it's likely to take six to eight weeks to stock empty shelves. Still two months is a very long time. Babies will die without food in that much time. So that's, that's where our critical crisis is over the next six to eight weeks. Check with your pediatrician before turning to alternatives. Do not dilute the formula that you already have. Um, there are homemade recipes going around. Um, they can be dangerous. They can lead to nutritional deficiencies. Um, you can contaminate them if you're making it home. So that's definitely not a good idea. And goat's milk could be deficient too. So what about whole milk? American Academy Pediatrics web website, um, even six, seven month old babies are probably okay to begin to give them whole milk, but you want to supplement them with um, a multivitamin and uh, maybe some of the source uh, foods with iron um, and the peas. And but there's no easy substitute for the zero to six month olds who may be allergic to protein or lactose or sugar in whole milk. Eight month old Gail is all smiles with a bottle in hand. Another reason to reach out to your pediatrician is their offices sometimes have samples that they can give you in a pinch. We also have a link to resources on our mobile app and website. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.